Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna demonstrate how to create this uh, image gallery in jQuery using jQuery. So we've used three images out here although there's nothing stopping you from using more so if I click on the next button you see the image cycle through and the same happens when you click on the prep button. The next and the prep buttons you see they light up when I actually hover over these buttons and they completely disappear once I take the mouse out of the uh, the uh, image area okay and also you can see the image has a very subtle box shadow all right so it appear the buttons appear the buttons disappear and the buttons light up okay and they cycle through the next three images although as I said you could have used many more images so let's see how this was actually done I've used an HTML and a CSS for uh, JS file guys and uh, the CSS is uh, internal or embedded inside the HTML file itself and let's show you the local site folder three images cherry orange and strawberry jpg of the size uh, 800 by 500 px this is the latest jquery library and this is the next pref custom written file this is the html css document so let's see how this was actually done okay so guys uh, let's talk about the next pref.html file i'm going to you know lose some code and uh, uh, use some code and lose some code and whatever code i'm going to lose i'm going to recreate for you so give me a minute alright so let's start uh, removing the code so control X control give me a minute yeah so control X to cut control X control X and control X. Okay, basically you can see that I've completely emptied the opening closing internal, you know, embedded styles, the internal styles in the opening closing style tags. Okay. Similarly, guys, uh, control X and a control X, which is a cut. Okay. So notice that I've actually lost everything inside the opening closing style tags and everything inside the opening closing div tags which is inside the body of the document okay so things are completely empty if at this point I were to save and bring the browser up and if I were to refresh you'll see absolutely nothing understandably so okay now I'm gonna say control Z the moment I do that I throw in three image tags people uh, with source pointing to cherry jpg orange jpg and strawberry jpg okay I've skipped the alternate text you shouldn't and all of the three have a class of gallery although the div in which they are actually contained has an ID of gallery okay at this point if I were to save the document up and bring the browser up and if I were to refresh you can actually see uh, that uh, one of the images actually shows up I'm assuming the other two are behind it uh, give me a minute to think okay guys I, I figured it out what's happening uh, they were you know uh, one of the images was showing up and the other two images were actually hiding itself that was because of the JS uh, the JavaScript that was actually written okay so uh, what I did was you know I just renamed the JS added an extra V out here and if I were to save it okay if I were to bring the browser up and uh, you know if I were to refresh I could see the three images under each other so that is the way they should be actually since there's no more space on the right hand side they should go under under each other so you know the behavior was being altered because of the JS file we are not gonna get into the JS, the JS file right now okay so uh, but uh, for a minute I was like what's going on and uh, then I figured it out it was, it was because of the fact that we are actually tied up with the next file. okay 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 so let's bring in uh, some more uh, HTML so we have two a pair of button tags with a class of prev and with a with the class of next if at this point I were to save the document up and bring the browser up if I were to refresh okay uh, you see there's a next button the prev button out here thrown out here uh, next to the this image as I said because the JS file the only the one only the top image is actually showing up the other two images actually hide themselves okay right so let's continue let's get back to the document let's say a control Z okay the moment I actually say control Z uh, in the opening closing style tags a rule is actually thrown 
drawn for the ID gallery. ID gallery is the div that's actually containing the images and the buttons. You can very really clearly see out here. Okay, it says a width of 800 matching the width of the image, height of 500 matching the width, uh, you know, the height of the, the image, some box shadow and position relative. Okay, so let's save the document up and if I were to bring the browser up at this point and if I were to refresh and see what happens uh, nothing much really because of the JS only one image actually shows up and the other two actually hide themselves and some subtle box shadow is thrown all around also you see the prayer with the next buttons actually uh, shift out here and uh, you see we have a position relative set for the gallery and we'll soon see why that was actually done okay now let's bring in the next rule uh, the next rule actually targets the images and the buttons inside the gallery and setting the position to absolute now what this actually does is uh, actually will not be evident uh, see uh, to actually show it to you what, what you know to you see what happens if you set the images and the um, the buttons absolute uh, inside a relative wrapper the images are gonna tuck themselves one under the other you know align themselves to the zero zero of the relative wrapper and the same is true for the button so buttons uh, you know next prep will hide under each other the images uh, the three of them cherry strawberry and which was the third one orange actually will tuck them themselves under each other and align uh, themselves at zero zero coordinates of the relative wrapper that is the behavior absolute within relative they tuck themselves at zero, the top left corner guys okay and anyways the one of the images was showing up the other two were not so uh, it wouldn't make any difference at all to the images but it'll make some difference to the buttons for sure alrighty at this point uh, if I were to bring the browser up and if I were to refresh did I actually save the document Let's save, bring the browser up. Okay, you can actually see the buttons themselves. Uh, you know, these are the next prep buttons. Like, j just as I said, they will tuck themselves in the top left corner, zero, zero coordinates of the relative wrapper. So absolute elements within relative, this is the behavior. You can be absolutely sure that all the three images are also tucked in the top left corner. It's just... Uh, uh, you know another matter that uh, pick two pick three are actually hidden because of the JS file right but now all elements are actually tucking themselves to the top left corner of the relative wrapper all the absolute uh, elements that is okay let's uh, uh, let's get in the next rule this next rule actually uh, is for the uh, two buttons the next and the prep buttons Right. Uh, you see the buttons have a class of prev and next okay so I'm saying the width uh, should be 80 the height should be uh, 25 the margin should be whatever and font size should be whatever we're just formatting the button a little bit okay at this point let's save the document up and let's bring the browser up and let's do a refresh okay so you can actually see uh, the next and the prev buttons have actually uh, kind of are a little bigger now and they're still on top of each other okay but they have shifted themselves that's the reason being uh, I've actually set a margin 20 so you know cushion all around of 20 px and that is the reason they've actually shifted themselves from the top left corner okay and the width and height have changed the font size have actually uh, has actually changed okay I don't want the uh, next prep buttons to be uh, well overlapping each other so I'm gonna throw in the next rule so I'm saying uh, the button which is a class of next should uh, shift from the left edge of the rel relative wrapper by 100 px and this is gonna be the final touch so uh, there you go if when I hover upon you can see that the prev and the next buttons are actually now separate and not uh, over each other so this actually concludes the HTML of the document people uh, please do join me in the next part to see how the jQuery was made uh, effective to create this image gallery next prep image next prep buttons image gallery so guys please do, do join me then bye bye peace